take a look at what's arrived here at the RC Driver Workshop, guys. It's the new Traxxas Rustler 4x4 VXL. And this guy right here is really excited to dip into this box because I've been watching the videos. I've wanted something like this for a long time and I am super stoked to see Traxxas has finally come out with it. And I think there's a lot of people out there that are really excited about this truck as well. So let's get into this thing. Let's check out what's going on on the box first. And uh, one thing I wanted to point out right away was this self-writing feature. This is very cool. This is on a couple of other Traxxas machines. And I'm really excited that it has made its way over to here too because I hate walking to go pick up cars once they flip over. So this should help out. It does it in most conditions and uh, you gotta have a 3S battery in there. It is a cool feature to have. Uh, another thing, low CG chassis on here. It is a brand new chassis. We'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, Pro graphics body on here, clipless body. No more body clips, that's super cool to see. Uh, what I also wanna show you is over here, comes in two different color schemes if you couldn't figure that out by the box it's got the green scheme which is what we got little dot right there and then it's got this blue and orange uh, like scheme as well there it is let me see what's over here all right we've got a couple more details i'm gonna get into this box i'm telling you guys but there are some things that you got to see on the outside just so you know everything going on with this machine we've got updated telescoping drive shafts we've got updates to the slipper clutch wheelie bar on this thing the Talon EXT tires, these are very cool. We're gonna take a closer look at that. We've got the oil-filled shocks that we're so used to seeing. TQI radio system, we gotta talk about that some more. And then this new chassis layout going on. It does actually look similar to the Stampede 4x4, but there are revisions here. All right, now let's get into this thing. Let's check out what's going on. One of these sides is open already because I had to take a sneak peek at it. You know, when something cool comes in, you gotta take a look sometimes. And this is one of those machines where I had to take a look. All right, so we've got the usual packaging going on here. Very cool that they pack it so well. I mean, this box is kind of tiny. Look at this machine. It's got this compact stance to it and it actually looks very cool. We'll check it out closer in just a minute. You guys know the deal. I go through all the stuff that's inside the box first and then we'll check out the car. All right, so in here somewhere is that TQI radio. There it is, nice and snug. That's all that's in there. All right, guys, now let's start off here. I, I know you wanna hear, let me get this in the camera for you guys. There we go. I know you wanna check that out while I'm talking. I talk a lot, I know, but I want you guys to know everything that is going on with these machines that come in here for review. You guys are gonna spend money on this thing and I want you to have all the information you can. All right, so now the TQI radio system. This is a bit better radio system than the Traxxas slash 4x4 brush model we recently reviewed. This is the TQI. It still has that good feel to it, nice foam grip. We've got uh, control dials here. Uh, set button and menu button up top, but this is what I like back here. You could take this uh, plastic piece out and you could install the link module that allows you to use the Traxxas app and dashboard to control your model and tweak, you know, different things like you would do with a computer radio system. So this is a very good radio system to have with this particular truck. All right, now let's take a closer look at what's going on in this bag. And uh, there's a couple things that are popping out that are not in the usual bag that we get from Traxxas. This is the usual stuff right here. These are the shock preload clips, more preload, less preload, depending on you know what you do with the clips. Looks like we got another pack of those. Then we've got the optional high-speed pinion gear here. You could put a 3S battery in here, put the optional pinion gear on here, and you could go 65 miles an hour. This thing has a very wide range of speeds you could do, depending on if you're using a 2S pack, a 3S pack, and the type of gears. But if you put the right combination in there, this thing will go 65, and that's pretty wild for an RC car. All right, now we've got the standard little pack of tools that Traxxas always gives with all of their stuff. We've got some Allen wrenches, a box wrench, and a, a, a wrench there for adjusting the turnbuckles. It says four millimeter on there. That's because this thing has four millimeter turnbuckles. We'll talk about that in a minute as well. We've got some decals going on. Throw some more decals on there. Show off your Traxxas love. Over here, we've got radio instructions on the TQI. Go through that, and then we've got usual instructions that uh, we've seen before. This is support and service. And then over here, we've got stuff about their chargers, all the different chargers available. We did a couple of charger reviews here on the channel, so definitely go and check those out if you need a charger with this thing. Uh, we've got your warranty card information and the manual itself. Go through this. If this is your first RC machine, this is gonna get you going without an issue. 
All right, and now finally, this is what actually caught my eye. It's a additional battery strap. So again, when you're putting different types of batteries in here, you could go and adjust the spacing on it. All right, so let me get this stuff out of the way. And now we can take a closer look at this truck. And let me start off by getting rid of this plastic bag. And usually I gotta go and pull some clips off, but I just gotta slide my hand in here because there's one little lever in the back and you pull it up and you go and pull this body off. And now we can get rid of that plastic bag. So let's check this thing out a little bit closer with the body on without the plastic. And there it is. Check that machine out. How cool does this thing look, guys? I mean, the graphics on this, whoever they have doing the graphics has got a wild imagination. I just love the look of it. Look at this skid plate on the top here. I've got this cool spoiler out back. Uh, from what I've read, it is functional. Uh, but the whole thing going on here, very, very cool. And then obviously it's got the latch system like we've seen on the E-Revo 2 and on the X-Max. It makes taking off the body really easy. And uh, all you got to do is kind of slide it back and it pops out of place. And I want to show you guys underneath, it's got this inner cage going on. And there's the latches and the clips that lock into the shock tower. And it's just a very cool system, guys. I mean, we've got advancements going on here. Lots of forward thinking in RC. And I love what Traxxas is doing. I mean, I, I can't stop staring at the body. Very cool looking body. I'm sure the other style looks really cool as well. And now we could take a look at this machine. But you know what? I wanna do something a little bit different. Usually I sit here and I talk to you guys about what's going on with it. What I wanna do is I wanna take you guys over to the bench, just put pure camera on this thing while I talk about it so you can see every little detail. Let's go. All right, guys, here we have it, the truck. It is unboxed, ready to check out, and this thing just looks super cool. Let's just take a closer look. enough we got to get into this machine let's start off with the front here check out the new front bumper on this this has a very cool aggressive look to it and it is solid i mean whatever this thing hits it's going to take that abuse instead of transferring it to you know something else on the inside the other thing too i want to point out is the approach angle on that take a look at the angle and uh, you could definitely you know come up to some harsher obstacles and stuff bumps and jumps and that skid type bumper will help get this truck up and over things. All right, now let's uh, let's move on to these shock towers because these shock towers are new here as well. Uh, as you can see, no more body posts on the front of this thing. These are this is set up for that new style body mount. It's got a very cool look to it too, and these things feel really solid. So I think a lot went on here as far as bulking up the durability of this machine. Let's take a look at the back while we're at it, since this is also new. As you can see. No body mount stuff going on here. It just uses that new body mount system from Traxxas that I showed you guys on the body there. So that is pretty neat. Now let's go on to the shocks. And these shocks, I, I'm sure you guys have seen these before. These are Traxxas oil-filled shocks. And uh, you know they've got the progressive springs on here, oil-filled bladder on the inside. And these feel so smooth. I mean, I, <laughs> for a plastic shock, these shocks work really well. I love the feel of this truck and uh, i think it's going to work really well out there just just by the feel of it so smooth all right now let's get into uh let's get into these new arms i got to show you guys these new arms let me flip this truck over so we can get a better look at these new arms these are new arms front and rear okay they, they're basically the same front and rear so it is interchangeable but it is a new design for Traxxas. Uh, newer composites, more durable, and I definitely like the look of it. We've got extra holes here for tuning options, uh, but this arm right here, let's, let me flip it back over. This arm right here is a pretty solid arm. There's a little bit of flex there. I mean, you, you gotta have some flex with a basher machine. That's what's gonna take the hits. And uh, I think, you know, these arms look a lot better than the old ones. I mean, I, I don't have a problem with the old arms, but these look so much better. They got a nice deep channel in there, nice webbing and stuff like that. Now over here, I mentioned it before, four millimeter turnbuckles all over this truck here. So those are a lot dur more durable than some of the smaller, like three millimeter turnbuckles we've seen out there. These should take some hits. Nice beefy rod ends on here, steel ball studs in there. You know, as you would expect from Traxxas, really nice stuff going on. And then, you know what, before I get out here, let me go back over to the diffs, because I want to talk to you guys about the diffs 
Now we've got uh, the Revo spec diffs on the inside here, oil filled. And uh, let me see if I can get in there and focus on it. There's the front cover. Pretty easy to access this stuff. I mean, this is still the modular setup. So you can go and take things apart nice and easily. But again, inside we've got the Revo spec diffs, all metal gears on the inside, metal ring and pinion in there, all supported by ball bearings and everything. All the ball bearings in here are seal ball bearings. So they've got those Traxxas blue seals on there. And uh, you know, those will hold up the dust and dirt and stuff like that without getting you know, too grimy. And then oh, I wanna show you guys down in here, you could see the aluminum front brace plate uh, for the hinge pins. And so that will help uh, prevent the front bulkhead from breaking. So we've seen some of the some of the parts from other machines before, like the slash 4x4. But the chassis here, the chassis is new. And uh, we're going to talk about that in a second. But I want to go and take this wheel off now and show you guys you know, what's underneath. Because I want to show you all the details. All right, so I got my wheel wrench here. We'll just go and pull this wheel off. All right, so there we have it. The wheel is off. Now we can take a closer look at the steering knuckle here. And we've seen this before on the slash 4x4. Here's our caster block. And these are proven parts. They've worked really well on the slash 4x4 and uh, on the Stampede 4x4. So it's nice to see that they're here as well. 12 millimeter hex on there. So if you got some monster truck wheels already, you want to swap them out, you could probably do that. But these new wheels, they look pretty good. And I don't, I don't see myself changing them out anytime soon, but you know, who knows with projects and everything. Some things may happen, but here, now we can take a closer look at the arm. A little bit closer look there. We've got the steering tie rod there. It looks really nice. Oh, I need to talk to you guys about the drive shafts because I read on the website that these have been somewhat revised, a little bit more beefier, and I could see you know some little changes, hints here and there of things going on, but it is a bulky looking drive shaft. So that should work out really well as far as laying down the power without anything breaking. All right, now we can move on to the chassis itself. And from what I've read here, this new chassis is 20 millimeters longer. Uh, I'm not sure if they mean longer than a regular Rustler or Stampede 4x4, but anyway, it is a longer chassis for better stability and it is a low CG chassis. So, you know, no hump in the center there. Uh, this is a stadium truck, so it is nice and low to the ground. Uh, still has some ground clearance, you know, so if you're running in your backyard, these larger tires will help get over grass and dirt and stuff like that, but still got the handling characteristics uh, you know, the good handling characteristics of a low CG chassis. And I mean, this is really well braced. If you look in here, you can see the honeycomb set up and you know, nice tall sidewalls on here. There is no flex on this chassis. And uh, what I want to move on to next is this new battery mount setup. And this is a pretty neat battery mount setup. I've kind of seen something similar before on a lot of Traxxas vehicles and you know, it's easy to access. Uh, but what's neat here is it's it's nice and low, so you could put your low packs in there and have them well supported. And it's also got this cutout right here, so you could go and use the seven cell nickel metal hydride hump pack. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a 2S starter pack. That's what this box is over here. This is a starter pack from Traxxas, and they have a number of these to choose from. And in here is the uh, Easy Peak Plus charger. We've got the battery pack over here, so we're just we're, we're going to use that for this particular machine. I also do have a 3S battery because I got to run this thing on 3S. I got a couple 3S we're going to run in it, but uh, anyway, it fits a wide variety of the Traxxas Power Cell batteries. And now we can move on to the extruded center aluminum drive shaft. Check that bad boy out. We've got steel uh, out drives here, splined out drives that kind of made up. There's a spline, you can see it there and uh, pretty neat setup. We don't have the cover on there anymore, like the Stampede 4x4 has the cover. That isn't necessary here, but uh, again, very cool stuff going on. Everything we look at is pretty awesome. Got to spin this bad boy around, take a look at the electronics now. And over here, this looks like a new receiver box. Uh, maybe the top is the same, but you know, I don't remember these tabs being on any other vehicles. So I'm, I'm guessing that might be new to this particular vehicle. Don't quote me on that one. There's a lot of receiver boxes to remember. But anyway, sealed weatherproof receiver box in here. We've got the TQI receiver in there with TSM. So this thing has TSM and that is stability, tracks the stability management and helps you, you know, especially if you're new, you know, have control of your vehicle and uh, definitely it's a great assist uh, for, for a lot of people actually. It makes, you know, driving the vehicle a lot of fun. And you could of course tune it to the way you want it to work. All right, now on um, one of the stars of this particular vehicle is the VXL system. This is the VXL3 S speed controller. We've got the 3500 kV motor back here, the Valenian motor. 
and uh, this combo has worked so well on so many different tracks of vehicles really potent system here and again weatherproof waterproof and it has the traxxas id plug on here and it makes charging your batteries nice and easy with the traxxas system so definitely like that let me tuck that in under there and uh, that's really what's going on in the center actually let me flip it back over again because i want to talk to you guys about the steering kind of hidden down in here we didn't touch on that before but we have the slash 4x4 steering cranks in there we've got a servo saver crank there and then we've got the servo tucked away in here you're gonna see it peeking out in there we've got this you know front brace plate help brace the front of the chassis but anyway that's what's going on in the steering department works really well should work really well here on the Traxxas Russer 4x4 as well. All right, now let's go over here to the motor plate. Motor plate, one screw to adjust the pinion uh, and spur gear mesh here. So you loosen this up, move your motor around. If you're switching gears out, makes nice, easy adjustments. Under the plate, I wanna show you guys what's under here. Let me go get a two millimeter driver. Gotta show you how easy it is to pop this off. All right, so I've got my two millimeter driver here. Just gonna remove one screw. off and that's how easy it is to take off the top cover and now down in here you can see the revo spec slipper clutch and the reason why i wanted to show you guys let me see if i can get in here nice and tight there we go is these see the pads right here these are new aluminum pads so this will handle the power and torque that the motor and uh, power system is going to put out in this machine yeah, before we had the fiber pads and sometimes those would break but these new aluminum pads soft aluminum pads should do the job really well and of course the slipper clutch is adjustable there's the nut right there you can go and adjust it uh, but you know swapping pinions is pretty easy on this machine there's the pinion gear right there so you can get into it you know if you need to swap it out for that high speed pinion gear and uh, really cool stuff going on i like the little updates that traxxas has done here all right now Let's move on to the rear shocks. Rear shocks pretty much, you know, same as the front oil filled coilover shock, progressive spring has that really good feel to it. And, uh, you know, again, the arms, we already talked about the arms. We've got the new composite rear arms in here. Oh, look at that blue aluminum brace plate there for the pins. It's in the rear as well. We've got those new bulked up drive shafts, the four millimeter tie rods. Of course, we've got some adjustability going on. You know if you do want to go and tune the vehicle and i do want to show you the new rear hub so i got to pull off another tire give me a second all right so i've got another tire off this machine looks like it spent a night in the city i don't know but anyway here is that new hub i wanted to show you guys you know we were used to seeing the same hub being used over and over again on like the tracks of slash uh the the rustler the bandit but this new one here look at the new design on here guys we've got some extra webbing on here and that should help brace this up because these have been known to crack right about here. Uh, so with that new webbing in place, hopefully that should prevent any sort of breakage going on. So it was nice to see that was redesigned on this particular vehicle. All right, something new that is also on this machine is the wheelie bar. Check out this new wheelie bar out here. And this, this is kind of weird. I mean, I, I never saw something with a lot of flex like this. Pretty interesting. Uh, I wonder if that's, you know, to get longer wheelies, there's a little bit of flex in there. I don't know. But it is good to see that there is a wheelie bar on here because this thing is going to hit some fast speeds and stuff. And, uh, you know, you could pull some long wheelies, do some pretty cool stunts with it. And we'll just have to see how it holds up, you know, extreme bashing with a lot of flipping and stuff going on. So here it is, guys. This is the Traxxas Rustler 4x4 VXL. There's actually also a brushed version of this. Uh, I don't know if we'll have one here on this channel, but we're very excited to drive the brushless version here. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to go head up to Wolcott Hobby for that cool off-road course that we go and drive things on. Super bash session. We're going to hit lots of jumps and bumps, berms, roost some dirt. Let's see how this new truck performs.
So when Traxxas announced the Rustler 4x4 and showed us those action videos, I was pretty excited to hopefully try one of those trucks and I was really excited once we got one. And well, I took this machine out and what you saw in those action videos from Traxxas, well, that's what this thing does. This thing was so much fun and it really filled a little void in the Traxxas line. You know, I think this thing falls right between the Stampede 4x4 and the, the Slash 4x4. Uh, and it was it was much needed and it is a lot of fun and a very cool experience And so let's dive into the performance and of course we'll start off with the steering This machine has plenty of steering right out of the box. You don't need to do a thing to it uh, The physical steering throw is there uh, the servo has plenty of power to get this thing turned and uh, You know out there. I just didn't have a problem whatsoever. Uh, it doesn't hook or oversteer uh, and uh, You know again, it's just it's fine. Nothing wrong with the steering department and uh, actually when the TSM kicks in It helps keep this thing straight when you're really like ripping on the throttle through some loose stuff uh, So that steering servo is working overtime in there and so far no issues whatsoever and I have put this thing through a number of battery packs driven it through water sand uh, you know even smashed uh, the front of it rocks uh, out at that little motocross track where i go and test and so the steering is on point here now let's move on to the handling and uh, you know it's got a kind of a lower stance uh, than let's say these the stampede 4x4 actually you know that is much higher with the monster truck tires and depending on what slash 4x4 you may have been looking at you know uh, if it's the one with the high cg chassis uh, you know, th this thing is lower. It's got a low CG chassis on it, and it's got that because it handles better with a low CG chassis. Now, with that being said, you know, it can't go over some of the uh, obstacles that, you know, I was going over uh, at the little motocross track. It did get hung up a few times on some ruts and stuff like that. Uh, but for the most part, the ground clearance was where I needed it to be, and so the handling was actually really good. This thing stays pretty much on all four wheels, and uh, you know, with the power that's behind it, uh, that's really where the erratic handling would come in when you're flying with this thing. Uh, you know, it can get up on, on the rear wheels, on the wheelie bar, and you know, I mean, what's going to handle during that? But when it's on the wheels and you're going through the rough stuff, the suspension works. It, it gets the job done. And, uh, you know, where it really gets the job done is like in the jumping department. Uh, this thing loves to fly. It is so cool to jump this thing, you know, far, high. It lands pretty well, uh, you know, and it, when it doesn't land well, um, it's kind of like it just kind of bounces around and, and usually lands on all four tires. Uh, and if it doesn't, that's when you could go and use the self-riding. I actually tested that a bunch of times and it works just fine. There was only a few times where it didn't self-write. Uh, on the first try, uh, and again, the self-riding, all you gotta do is hit the, uh, hold the set button down for four seconds, and it'll start to spin the wheels at, at full throttle and rock the vehicle back and forth until it flips back over. So that was super cool. Totally love that feature, guys. It is so cool to see it in here. Uh, but anyway, jumping is awesome with this thing. It is so much fun. And what is really fun is how fast this machine goes. Now, they say it goes 65 miles an hour, and I put the optional pinion gear in there and the 3S battery pack. I didn't have a speedometer, but this thing moves, guys. Holy cow, is it fast. And yeah, I, I have to imagine it does do 65. You know, I've been testing cars for 25 plus years. Actually, I've been driving for over 30 years, uh, but actually reviewing cars for over 25 years. And I've tested a lot of machines, so I'm a good judge at speed. And yeah, it's it's there. But uh, you know, maybe I'll follow it up uh, with a specific speed test later on down the road. But this thing is so fast, and it certainly pulls those wheelies, and it carries wheelies really, really far. That's the fun factor there. And uh, again, it's just it's so cool. It's a lot of fun. Uh, the roof skid. Definitely a nice feature because when this thing is, you know, sliding on the roof, whether it's in the dirt or on the asphalt, you know, it definitely saves the body. The body itself is in pretty decent shape, uh, except for some scuffs on the front, and obviously it's really dirty. <laughs> but uh, it's a great machine that took a lot of abuse. So now I got to talk about durability. And well, this thing is really, I guess the best way to put it is like a brick. You know, if you take a brick and you throw it and it just kind of lands, you know, and nothing happens to it, that's this thing. It makes it when it hits something, it just goes clunk and rolls over and it lands and there has not been a single issue with anything on this truck whatsoever. 
I wouldn't even know what to tell you might break uh, because you know nothing has, has happened to it. The only little thing I could point out is in the front there is a piece of drive shaft, center drive shaft exposed right in front of the receiver box and a rock got in there and it just stayed there and it kind of started to grind into the uh, the top of that aluminum shaft. So now the shaft is all messed up. It doesn't affect the performance at all. Uh, but over time, you know, I, I don't know what if something could happen there. But so keep an eye. Make sure no debris gets stuck in that part of it. Uh, it'd be nice if someone actually came out with a little deflector shield uh, that could get bolted right to the front of it. Um, but that's it. There's nothing else wrong with it. That new slipper clutch works really well. Uh, you know, no sign of, of premature wear on the drive shafts or anything like that. No leaking from the shocks. Everything is just mint on this machine and it's ready for more fun. And I'm going to put it through a whole lot more. Uh, it was fun running through water, fun jumping it, fun just blasting through sand. If you get one of these Traxxas Rustler 4x4s, you're going to have a lot of fun with it too.